we are headed elk hunting. But uh, ran into a little bit of a predicament. Ryan has about drove his truck off the road. Ryan's trying to rescue him. Boardman, he's uh, really just hanging out. Uh, Chase, it's called, uh, it's called saving the day. <laughs> oh, it's called saving the day. Mark saving the day. I wouldn't get too far down that hill, Mark, in case something goes south and he goes down that way. No, I'm, I'm just going to set right here. Okay. Straighten your will. Whoa. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. I hate being the guy that has to film it because it's like, why are you helping out? But that had, that had to be documented, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> we should be good now. Good morning from Big Sky Country. It's our first morning in Montana. We're all hunting <clears throat> with the bows. Got in last night. Saw a lot of elk, a couple really good bulls, perfect weather, probably 36 degrees, not many clouds in the sky. From what we saw last night, the elk are definitely starting to get frisky. Super optimistic, hunting with our buddies Mark Boardman from Vortex and Ryan Rickert from Pipe Pass, so it should be a fun week. This bluff starts right here, so we, we can go back here around. We can go up the side of it, wherever you guys want. It's pretty fresh, guys. Still green. anything this morning not like we had hoped but it's mid-afternoon we're gonna hike up into where these bulls were last night but there's this rad wallow had one of our stealth cameras on all summer got a bunch of rad pictures it's not legal in montana to keep the um stealth cameras up during the season so we got those pulled off but I'll show you what this looks like that right there Used to be all grass. Now, it's been trampled by elk.
freaking evening. Today was super slow. We didn't hear anything all day long. Right until about an hour left of last light. We just sprinted over there. We've got awesome footage from right in the middle of a big huge herd. I snuck down in there. Casey stayed back and was filming and I had the perfect wind, perfect cover. Got down with right in the middle of the herd, didn't get busted and they're still talking. <laughs> but the big bull would never come and commit to me. I did take a take a shot at a satellite bull. I had him at 62 yards. I had to camp my bow super hard to get the bubble level. Everything felt great. When I rearranged it though, he ended up being like 72 yards after I was at full draw, he caught me and he just moved on me. The best part about it though for me is everything else worked out great. They did not spook, they did not wind us. And they're in the same spot. And I really hope tomorrow we get a shot at the big boy. these bulls in their beds about 30 40 minutes ago we've been waiting for the wind to change they just got up they're feeding out so brian went down this edge of trees ryan went up the top of this set of trees i'm gonna go with the old decoy elk butt just try to cow call keep them coming this way if we keep our wind
I have all my arrows. <laughs> Dude. Talk about unlucky. I don't know how much of that you could see, but as soon as Casey started bugling, those bulls got frisky. They're freaking sparring with each other. And the smaller bull kicked the bigger bull's ass. And because of that, it dropped him way down low off the hillside. He would never come back up. Had he come back up, I would have had him at 28 yards. I could have shot the smaller bull probably five different times at 50 yards, but not exactly what I was looking for. But that was really cool. They were freaking mewing like cows, sparring, and the little bull was doing some silly stuff. Thought I thought it was gonna make it happen, but no luck. Awesome. That bull needed to come another 20 yards and I could have shot him. But he knew something was up and he barked at us. The big problem was cows took off and he just followed them. But as a bow hunter man, that's what you gotta live for. As much as I want to kill a big bull, that's what it's about right there. Close encounters with bull elk that are bugling. With your buddies, dude, done nothing gets better than that. That was fun. <laughs>